we can welcome to the Notre Dame community Coach Mike Bray and his family. Please join me in welcoming them. But can you remember that first day you get introduced as the head coach at Notre Dame and just you know what that experience must have been like for you? July 14th, 2000, I remember like it was yesterday. God, I wonder if I could ever be good enough to do it at a place like this. And you know, all I can say is, wow, we're here. Anxious, a little nervous, but hopeful about the job he could do. But I look back at those pictures in our media guide. I was a young dude back then. Over the past 17 seasons, Mike Bray has been getting the job done at Notre Dame. While the trend in college basketball in recent years has been for players to be one and done. With the first pick in the 2010 NBA draft, the Washington Wizards select John Wall from the University of Kentucky. Bray has taken a different approach. And it's over. Notre Dame's defense of its ACC title is still alive. And it seems to be working. The Irish are coming off back-to-back -back trips to the Elite Eight, and each time it was with veteran leaders. I'm really proud of that. We're, we're never too young. We have juniors and seniors playing key roles, and we have guys growing up in our program. They've been with us a couple years. They've had to pay their dues behind pretty good players, but then when you ask them, they're kind of ready to do it, and we've had that that's part of the culture now. But in an era of instant gratification, surrounded by the Kentuckys and the Kansases of college basketball, Mike Bray's coaching philosophy started long before he ever stepped foot on a court. You know, I was very fortunate. My parents were both teachers, educators, and coaches. Mike took his parents' influence and channeled it onto the basketball court, making his way to DeMatha High School in Maryland, where he played for five-time high school national championship coach Morgan Wooten. After playing at George Washington, Bray went back to DeMatha and coached alongside the legend. He made me take a JV, said you got to coach the JV because you got to have your own team. And boy, did it pay off. I was like the young assistant that Coach Wooten let me run some of practice. Well, what a great audition for me. I'm 24, and there's Dean Smith, Lefty Drizel, Mike Krzyzewski. That audition caught the attention of Mike Krzyzewski at Duke, who just so happened to have an opening on his staff. I was fortunate. It just doesn't happen like that. I was really, really fortunate. But it was because I was a Morgan Wooten guy and a DeMatha guy that I got that. Mike spent eight years on Coach K's staff. He let me get my hands on all facets of the program, which made me very prepared to be a head coach. I mean, the eight years I was at Duke with him, we went to six Final Fours and won two national championships. That was the Hurley Leitner. It was, uh, it was unbelievable. There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yeah! The time with Coach K led Bray to his first head coaching job at Delaware in 1995, where in five seasons he led the Blue Hens to two conference championships and back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances, putting Bray in position to land his dream job, where his toughest task was changing the perception of basketball at Notre Dame. Thank you. How much have you seen the, the culture of basketball here at Notre Dame for the men change? Because, you know, there's been a criticism, oh, this is a football school. Right. And in recent years, it seems like some of that is sort of kind of changing a little bit. There's no question. We, as I always say, football pays a lot of bills around here, and I'm their biggest fan. But, you know, I, I think when I got here in 2000, we were 30 games under 500. Well, we all of a sudden we started to earn respect in the Big East, certainly getting back to the NSA tournament. We had not been to the tournament in 10 years before I got here, and we've been on a pretty good run. You got to get in that thing in March to bring credibility to your program. While Bray is approaching 500 career wins, he says what drives him has very little to do with his record. That's the pressure. Yeah, we got to win. I get that. The pr I want them to have a really good experience. I think I'm in a position to be their best teacher mm -hmm. that they have here at Notre Dame because I get them year round for all four years. And that's a big responsibility, getting them confident, sending them out of here as a young man, not the boy that showed up.